Hey boys and girls, welcome back. It's me, Keith, the Misprint Guy, and welcome to week 10 in which I share with you all kinds of strange and unusual cards from a game called Magic the Gathering. Misprints, test prints, if there's something downright weird about it, I want to share it with you. Now what do I have for you this week? Well, I thought it would be a really good time to take a look back at some of the videos that I have already done because you have asked me some very good questions and I wanted to just elaborate, show you some new versions of some of the subjects that I've already covered and answer the questions that you have had for me. Um, now, the one that I get a lot of questions about are miscut cards. Miscut cards are some of the more common types of misprints out there. So um, let me just kind of elaborate, okay? Now, usually when you see a miscut card, it is going to be miscut on both the front and the back. However, there are instances in which just one side will be miscut. Now, it's how something like this can happen is you have to visualize, you know, before they're cutting everything, they print, and then if you can visualize the front and the back would not actually be printed, uh, you know, aligned properly. So then what happens is when they cut it, one side or the other is going to be improperly cut. I mean, there's just no way to get it right because it's going to be screwed up no matter how you cut it. Uh, but there are instances, um, here's a very good example, there are some beta cards. Um, if you check it out, look at the front, you know, the front looks just fine. And then you flip the card over and there you go, that's what the back looks like. I mean, it's severely miscut on that side. And, um, you know, it, it's not, obviously, it's not limited to beta. There is a soul ring from Unlimited. And, you know, things like this happen, you know, still today. Uh, there's a newer version uh, of a card. And if you notice, that one has a back that's just fine. But the front is miscut. So, um, now, those are a lot more infrequent. But these kinds of things do happen. And another really good question I have is, now, how, how are these cards, see, a lot of you will show me these black bordered cards and then they're like, well, how in the world does this white get on here? There, let me show you a scan there. There's a really good example. This is a card I own. And, uh, you know, look at all that white up top. How in the world could something like this happen? Well, here's the thing. You know, you have to visualize how this is done. Uh, these cards are printed on large poster size sheets. And uh, there's about a one inch trim going around the, you know, the entire sheet. Um, and uh, they have no color. So you have a black bordered card and then it gets miscut like that. Well, that is what we would call the edge of the sheet. Um, and even more interestingly, see, check out that card. There's a mountain from Ice Age and it is uh, showing some of the personal information on the sheet. I've seen some with like color barcodes and just random info on there. And this one, if you check it out, you can see there it's English and it's from Ice Age and it's a common, uh, or I'm sorry, basic land. There you go. There's all that information right there and a bunch of numbers that make no sense to me. Um, and uh, those kinds of things just happen. They're, they're not all that common, but there you go. There is a miscut like that. Now, I mean, there's other things that I've shown you. Uh, crimped cards. Crimps are just something that random, you know, happens so randomly. In theory, every single magic card has a crimped version out there. Uh, again, in theory, now the larger the print run, the more likely you are to find that. But think of your favorite card, and, and come on, don't be, don't be generic and say Black Lotus, but think of your favorite magic card. There is probably a version of it that is crimped. Now, I have yet to see a Black Lotus, but I have seen some of the other Power Nine, and I've seen a Library of Alexandria. There's a lot of really good cards out there that are crimped. And I've shown you other strange things like hair on cards. There's, there's just random things that happen. I'm going to be showing you some cool ones in the future. Uh, Wyvern back cards. All the commons from Fallen Empires have the wrong game on the back. Uh, just certain things like that. Uh, some cards have more than one misprint. Uh, there are some square cornered cards with an upside down miscut back. Uh, and here you go. Here's a foil card. Check that out. It's, uh, it's just fine and it's centered and perfectly on the back and it's miscut on the front. And hey, it also happens to have square corners. And another extremely rare instance, there you go, there's a card that is crimped and miscut. I mean, you really have to think about that one. They totally screwed that up twice. First, they cut the sheet wrong, and then they stick it in the package and it gets caught in there and it gets crimped. I mean, you know, hey, sometimes if you're gonna screw up, you might as well just screw up big, huh? 
Well, anyway, so those are some of the elaborations that I wanted to cover, show you some new and interesting versions of some of the things I've covered in the past. Uh, as always, if you have questions, I'd love to hear from, from you. Uh, and uh, otherwise, questions, comments, concerns, come on, get a hold of me. And uh, otherwise, uh, I will see you next week, so take care.